People who are sick of fighting traffic while commuting between Clarksville and Nashville may soon have another option. A new study will look at the possibility of establishing a commuter rail between the two cities. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon joins us tonight from the smart screen. And Emily, this idea has been discussed before. What makes it different this time? Well, supporters say it is needed now more than ever because of these numbers here from the Nashville Area Metropolitan Planning Organization. Check out the population growth. This is the Cumberland region, a 10 county area starting in 2006, and then the projected numbers here for 2035. And with more cars going back and forth between Clarksville and Nashville, city leaders say transportation is an issue that needs to be addressed. It's a familiar sight to Nashville area drivers, traffic. And we have 62% of the people living in one county and working in another county. It's, it's, it's going to bring congestion. Executive Director of Cumberland Region Tomorrow, Dr. Bridget Jones, says as long as people keep moving to Middle Tennessee, something needs to be done to improve traffic concerns. And we're going to keep growing, and we want that economic growth, but we also want to maintain our quality of life. In Clarksville, one of the region's fastest growing cities, the solution may come in the form of a commuter rail line. And because of the rapid growth and the high growth area that we have in Middle Tennessee, we realized that we needed more ways to get to provide transportation for all the citizens in this area. A new study will look at various options, including a new commuter train that would use existing tracks between Clarksville and Nashville. Mayor Kim McMillan says it would provide drivers with another option. I think it would be a wonderful opportunity for our citizens to be able to enjoy that kind of commuter rail line. So I think it's something that's really highly popular. Jones says similar transportation options need to be considered throughout the region sooner rather than later. And the solution is to look at a comprehensive a multimodal transportation investment program that really puts the right type of transportation and community design in the right place. Supporters hope with the right additions, the result will be less headaches and shorter commutes for Tennesseans. The $1.2 million study will be done over the next year, and Mayor McMillan says it is too soon to know right now the total cost of that project or where the stops would be. Rory? Emily, thanks. The last time a study was done to look at the possibility of a commuter rail between Clarksville and Nashville was in 2008. The new study will build on that information.